Hey, this is Zucky and Tarek from Sommelier. Uh, hey. Uh, and we're here to talk about uh, providing liquidity in USWAP B3. Uh, we're going to provide a, doing like a short video walkthrough as part of a series, um, and then leading up to the launch of uh, Sommelier Uniswap B3 liquidity provider app, and then the launch of the Sommelier protocol for Uniswap B3 liquidity providers. We've got a lot coming up in the next uh, sort of couple of weeks. Uh, so we're very excited. All right. And um, uh, Zaki, I think uh, we, well, as people, you know, sort of aware that we're live, maybe we want to give them a few minutes to, to come in. Um, and before we get started, maybe um, talk about your thoughts about, you know, the launch of Uniswap V3 so far, what you've seen, um, maybe some, you know, one or two things that stood out to you. Maybe the, what's the number one thing that stood out to you or the number one big you know, insight you had since Uniswap V3 has launched live? Uh, so, I mean, I probably stopped looking at what was going on about when I went to sleep last night. Uh, then, uh, <laughs> was that 1 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, and then I went to, and then I've been in a, a, a MEV mitigation protocol design conversation with like uh, wow. the ETH scaling people this morning. So I haven't really, yeah. I'm a little bit out of date, uh, but uh, the thing that I thought was most surprising to me was that we are seeing um, a lot of like, um, I would say that like the complexity of liquidity providing strategies um, has been um, has been sort of uh, a little slower to take off than I was expecting. Um, we have we you know we are seeing people concentrate liquidity in the big pools. Uh, we are seeing more concentrated liquidity emerge, um, and we are seeing improved price impact as a result of that concentrated liquidity um, at sort of very low TVL numbers. All of that was sort of uh, what we would expect, uh, but we're mostly seeing like very uh, um, symmetric, simplistic concentration of liquidity strategies in the early days, um, uh, and uh, and that's interesting to me. But that may have changed since this morning. But that was a big observation that I had last night was uh, seeing symmetric. And as we'll sort of go through today um, and in future episodes of sort of talking about being uh, Uniswap LP. Uh, uh, V3 liquidity providers, um, you know, if you have a view on the market and where the market's going, it doesn't make sense for you to just take a market neutral position and uh, and and drop your deploy your liquidity symmetrically around the uh, spot price. Um, it may be it may make sense for for uh, for your stable coins, but uh, you know we're also seeing symmetric liquidity around around the around the uh, uh, spot price on like ETH USDC. That's awesome. Uh, I read a tweet yesterday from Dan Robinson, who was asking, you know, whether or not the price of Tesla on a prediction market, uh, you know, what's the probability of a price, you know, price of a Tesla on a prediction market converging on the actual price um, of the token. And uh, I was curious, do you see uh, Uniswap V3 as a new type of prediction market for token prices? Um, I do. I do see Uniswap V3 as a new type of prediction market for token prices. Um, but that uh, that uh, phenomena has not yet revealed itself in the uh, in the in the um, in the liquidity pool dynamics. Um, so far, we have a reluctance to make a prediction. But like the, the view of Uniswap V3 as a type of prediction market is actually one of the sort of guiding things, as you know, we will be talking about over the next couple of months, which is how we're designing Sommelier for Uniswap V3. Awesome. All right. Well, I think uh, we've given some time for folks to come on in and get started. Uh, we're ready to go if uh, if you are. Yeah, and we will be recording this and uh, and it'll show up in our YouTube. Et cetera. That's right. That's right. We don't catch it live. OK, so what's our what's our goal here right today? All right. What are, what are we doing here? Well, hey, man, <laughs> I don't know about you, but I Uniswap V3 is here. You know, and uh, I want to take a position. You know, I heard stables is where the party's at. And uh, I would like to do my first stable uh, liquidity position on Uniswap. And uh, I'm excited. Uh, what do I do? Um, I'm here. Yeah. You're so, driving. I mean, why are we talking about stable coins? We're talking about stable coins because um, Uniswap V2 was not optimal for stable coins. Um, it did not. Uh, 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 it didn't give uh, good prices for stable coins, and 
that resulted in a huge amount of adoption of alternative AMMs like Curve. Um, and like one of the sort of innovations of Uniswap V3 is now we have brought uh, stable coins to Uniswap. Um, it's like one of the big uh, one of the big innovations here. So that that's probably a really good place to start and a, a good place for a lot of people who want to try out Uniswap V3 um, to sort of uh, uh, get involved. And it's prob it's probably the e it's like probably the easiest place to like sort of not make any mistakes if you kind of understand how the flow works. And that's what we're going to do right now. Awesome. Let's do it. So what do we have? We have a, a MetaMask wallet that's uh, loaded up with uh, uh, that's loaded up with the uh, ETH right now, uh, DAI and USDC. And we're going to open up a little bit of a liquidity position right now. All right, you have a lot of money in your wallet, dude. That's a that's a fact. I mean, honestly, concept. like this is this is kind of, well, you know another component right here is like how much do you want to trade until when? Uh, uh, what's your trade size given ETH gas prices um, and uh, so, you know, these are reasonable positions for given where you're, if you want to make some money on. Uh, All right, let's do it. And, and pay back your costs of gas fees and in fees in, you know, a week or two. Um, all right. So um, here's what we're going to do. Okay. So we are on app.unisop.org slash pools. Um, and we are navigating the user interface to create a new pool. So I'm going to create a new position. Um, and I'm uh, I'm in this new position. So what I'm what am I going to do? I want to add. Oh, you're going fast. You're going fast. Like okay, yeah. let's slow me down here. All right. So, so new position. New position. That's if I'm a liquidity provider and I want to make money providing liquidity in a pool, I have to pick that new position. That's that's my first step. Yeah. Yep. And now that I'm in this add liquidity page, I see a lot of stuff. But you're gonna you're gonna take me through. Yeah. So the first thing I almost everything is grayed out because we just mm -hmm. still need to select a token. So I'm gonna select. DAI and USDC. Okay. And you'll see in the drop down, it'll show your balances, tokens, just so you can select tokens that you actually have. Um, and in the Uniswap interface, to be a liquidity provider, you have to already have the tokens that you're going to be using uh, mm -hmm. to provide liquidity. Um, and so you're going to ask the question um, how many tokens do I need? Um, and in um, in a stablecoin pair, it's going to be roughly symmetric. Um, like you're roughly going to need uh, the same amount of each token. Um, but for the um, uh, and so um, you know that that would kind of define what you're trying to do. Um, but you're going to see as we sort of set the price bands that there's going to be a little bit um, as we go through the flow. You'll you'll get a better understanding of. Uh, of, of how your tokens translate into your liquidity position. All right, so we're doing stable coins. Um, and when you're doing a stable coin, you always pick the uh, lowest fee tariff. This is the price that you char that is charged to traders um, on the liquidity position. Um, and Uniswap today supports three fee tiers, um, and, but the right one for a stable coin, stable coin pair. Um, is the is the zero point five percent fee? Makes sense, Tar. Awesome. Yep, it does. Great. All right. Okay, but but hold Your, on. Your um, audio is getting destroyed. Yeah. I'm just gonna. All right. So while Tarek is fixing his audio, um, you gotta the 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 next piece, and this is all gonna be new to someone who's. You know, this fee tier thing is new if you haven't uh, done uh, uh, Uniswap V3 before. Um, and the uh, the other piece of this is this uh, price range. So this is the whole concentrated liquidity thing. This is the magic that makes Uniswap V3 uh, different from other AMMs um, and uh, and is sort of the, the secret to it. And okay, uh, back. Uh, back. All right. Yes, you are back. <laughs> all right. So I have questions. Um, first of all, um, I've, I, I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of buttons. I'm seeing a lot of stuff. Um, but be, every time I'm in stables, I just want to stick. Anytime I'm in a thing that is a stable coin, that's a dollar type stuff. I want to stay in the point zero five. I don't want to look at the point three or touch the one percent. Right. Just stay no. there. Okay. No one will logically trade at those uh, features. Okay. Well, you know. 
Hey man, Doge is at 60 cents. So I don't know about <laughs> logic, but let me tell you, <laughs> just tell me. So anytime I'm doing a stable coin, uh, liquidity provider action in Uniswap, always pick 0.05% fee. Always. Yep. Awesome. All right. I'm ready. Keep going. All right. So the easiest way to use this uh, price range toolkit is basically to take the current price and, and enter it into both here. And then you're going to see this is an invalid range um, because these values need to be uh, uh, different. Um, but then once you've okay. picked these numbers, you can use the buttons. So before you enter a number here, you can't use the buttons. Got it. Okay. So let's just make sure I'm, I'm, I got to take this slow. The numbers cannot be the same in the min price and the max price, right? I, I, Correct. I won't get, I won't make money if they're the same. Okay. Yep. So they got to be different. All right. Okay. Good. So what I, what you can do is you can adjust these numbers now and get, um, uh, you know, a five basis point spread, mm -hmm. which is sort mm -hmm. of a reasonable place to be. Um, um, we have, so we are setting up a five basis point, a 10 basis point spread now um, between mm -hmm. our, um, between our, uh, our uh, min and max price. Just like what you would expect if you expect the die pegged. Okay, die. whoa, whoa. What is a basis point? You start talking in these terms, bro, and I get really frustrated because, you know, I don't know finance, all right? I, yeah, I, I, so, work in, I work in in ape country. What is a, this, what's a, yeah, what? So, so okay. the, uh, uh, the, the ranges are represented in percentages of prices. Okay. Um, and so you've got this, uh, uh, you've got this, uh, uh, these, this 0.01% uh, 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 tick interval, um, which is the okay. interval in which you can set prices. And what we're saying is you can, uh, you can actually just come in and uh, you can set these values uh, based on that. And basically this is about how big a spread do you think the price is. So basically here, here's the kind of the, the mental model here, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you're if if the price is if the if the trading price the spot price is outside of this range you don't collect any fees. Yes. Okay. But if the uh, 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 spot price is in the range, but you you have a wider range than other people, you're yeah. uh, you're going to collect fewer fees uh, than those for like the same amount of liquidity that you've added. Uh, yes. For so like one so each person is adding a thousand dollars of liquidity. Uh, one person has, you know, a, uh, 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 and the and the trading price for the day is like, let's say, you know, point oh oh two percent. One one one, t one person who's opened up their position is putting that thousand dollars in just that point oh oh two percent, and the other one is providing it over, let's say, point oh point like you know oh oh one. Uh, 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 or oh yeah, point oh one, um, right. a bigger, uh, a bigger, a, a, a slightly bigger range. The fees mm -hmm. are going to go on that thousand dollars first into into a greater proportion to the to the party with the uh, uh, the narrowest uh, liquidity, uh, uh, um, uh, narrowest liquidity band. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So let's come in here. Okay. And let's now we have to enter how much. Okay. We're now I'm gonna put some money in. Yeah. Let's put some money in. Let's do it. Make money. Woo! And you see that there is this slight asymmetry um, ah, between, okay. between how yeah. you and that's normal. That's that's a okay. result of how uh, of how all these pieces fit together. Wait. Hold all on. Right. Does that mean that people value die more than they value the U.S. dollar? Like, is that what that's saying? Like. That's weird. That that is a little bit what it's saying, but uh, let's because oh, wow. uh, okay. this this is because we're in the current live price range, you know, yeah. minute by minute, this uh, 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 this is going to be fluctuating, um, block by block. So I'm going to yeah. go in and, yeah. and do our ERC twenty approvals. Okay, let's spend some money. Spend some money. Confirm. Oh, really? 
<laughs> Are we good? Yeah, all right. That's the next transaction. Okay, so that's one was to spend the DAI, and then the next one was to spend the USDC, right? We had to yep. give permission to do that. All right. So and this just basically is happening every time you create a new liquidity position with a new asset, you first have to uh, approve the, uh, to pair the tokens in the pair. All right, so now we go make some tea. Yeah, now we go make some tea, have some coffee. <laughs> Got a donut. <laughs> now, while we're waiting, can prices change against us? Like while we're waiting for these transactions to confirm, can the pool and all this stuff we just set up like move out of whack or is everything gonna be okay when we come back after the block? I mean, confirmed? so all we're doing right now is we're approving the token. So we haven't done anything. Okay. That is oh, we didn't do anything. Yeah, we're not even spending money. We're just approving yeah. stuff. Okay. We're just we're just sending the miners gas to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fees now, to, is that and that approval is something that MetaMask requires, right? Uh, I mean, it's an approval that it's a it's a thing that ERC twenty requires. ERC twenty requires. That's right. Good, good, good. Okay. So you got to get permission, approval to spend, and then we spend. Okay. So, All right. Sure. You said you were on that MEV meeting today, huh? Did you? Seems like you guys still need to make some progress. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. All right. So now we are Let's ready to it. spend some money. Woo! Liquidity provided time. All right. These are our prices, and I'm gonna. Yep. We're gonna put some money. Okay. In. Cool. 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 Uh, now this range. This says we're right? in range. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go our LP position is in range. That means that when we. Right. Uh, uh, activate this position, we are going to be earning fees. Um, okay, nice. So this is the range, and this is the current nice. price. Nice. Let's do it. It seems like our current price, or where the price is kind of at the top end of our range, right? The price was a 1.0053, yeah. whereas our range was a 1.0054. Does that mean that... Um, if it keeps going okay, higher, though? we would go out of range. Oh, we got problems. Okay. Right. right. My transactions is submitted. And then we gotta wait. We got our pending transaction over here. Uh, yeah. and then when it uh, when it confirms we will get our liquidity position over here. Right. Here's our pending transaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I see it on each. I see it on each scan. All right. Eight minutes. Okay, so 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 that this is gonna take eight minutes. Um, can it go faster, or or am I stuck? Like, do I have to wait at this period of time? Like, what what's the what's my options there? I mean, I I think that the answer is really just go get a cup of coffee. The people who watch this, the non real time version of this, are going to uh, benefit from editing this out. Make. Uh, all of this uh, coming to consensus seem real fast. That's right. Um, you know, I, I think you know it, it. You know, it'd be nice to be able, you know, like in some ways to speed these transactions up sometimes, or spend more money to speed it up. Um, I'm curious whether or not that's something that um, uh, can be I mean, done. Is that it? Can be done, right? Check out activity. Yeah, we can go to activity on MetaMask. Yep. There you go. Let's put in some stank on it. Put some stank on it. Faster, we, faster. We can give the ETH gods <laughs> some more money. Yeah. I think I think if you check Ether Scan, it might. I don't know if that might be different. This is our faster transaction. 
Ooh, something looked like it was reverted. Ooh, insufficient. So actually, let's see what happens here. Yeah. I guess the prior transaction will still go through, right? Maybe. Let's go. Let's go to the next. This is the yeah. So okay, I think this uh, failed on price slippage check. So really, we're gonna have wow. to end up doing okay. So. I'm gonna do this again. All right, let's try. Tie. USDC. Okay, so it remembered what I was doing before. Which ah, very cool. Cool. Yep, that's very cool. Yeah, it would be nice if I could see, you know, when we are adding this, be able to set my transaction speed on chain. So if I don't want to wait, you know, yeah. I can get in there. You know, it'd be nice to do that. Right. Okay, we have looks a like a transaction. We have a position. Congrats. All right. Woo! The current price did that price drop? Yeah, it did. Wow. I went from 1.004 to 0.995. That's how big a drop is that? Okay, so here's what we have. We have this like beautiful NFT here. Yeah, first of all, that is amazing. Um, we have uh, 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 the value of our liquidity. Mm -hmm. um, we have the uh, uh, we have the value of our liquidity. We have the um, uh, and. We haven't gotten any fees yet. Uh, they'll show up. Oh, see, here we go. We yep. just popped up. Oh, money. Uh, Did we make money? Yeah, we made some money. Yeah, absolutely. How much is that? How much money did I make? <laughs> some tiny fraction of a penny. Okay. <laughs> and that's for $1,000 in liquidity. Yeah. So what I'm, I think you're from all this is it, it seems that um, I, I have to share these fees with everybody who came into the same narrow active position um so it well, seems you, you that have everyone you're sharing fees with everyone whose position crosses the spot price got it got it got it got it so everybody who made the right prediction you're going to share fees with them yeah um got it. but whoever's position was narrowest while crossing the spot price got the largest of the fees relative to how much was it right so it's a, it's like it's a it's an it's a fun it's the this is the game right the game of Uniswap V three is how narrowly can you predict the price how precisely can you predict the price um, right right and that'll right, give right. you the, the the biggest bang for your buck in terms of fee revenue. Got it, got it, got it. This is amazing. So now I can see the fees that I'm making in real time. Um, and this is different from V2, right? Because before the fees would be reinvested, but now I have to go claim this money in order yeah. to withdraw it. Okay. Now, from a gas price point of view, you got to let your fees accumulate a little bit more before. Uh, um, so let's let's just kind of go through what 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 all the elements of this UI is. So you have this lovely NFT. 
Um, uh, you have, uh, you can see your fee range. Um, you can see what pair you're in. You see the total value of the liquidity you have. Um, you see the range on your prices. And this is like, I think like one of the things that, you know, um, is kind of a little bit of a, uh, of a, is a, a little bit of a, another sort of unexpected change, um, is mm -hmm. that once you have an NFT for your, for a price range, you can add and remove liquidity from it. You can say, okay. hey, I want to put more money in. Okay. Okay. Not actually okay. going to do this, but you can put more money let's in. Put, let's put some more money. Let's more money. Let's do it. Move right. Woo. Woo. <laughs> and then you can also take money out. Okay. Let's walk through that. Like, like, what does that mean, take money out exactly? So let's say that this position is not working for you. Um, let's say <laughs> that. Please, bro. I don't know, man. I can't. I can't eat anything on point zero zero two seven six cents. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Daddy got to bring home bacon. Mama, mama hungry. <laughs> I can't do that. All right, what do we got? So what do we do? You, 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 you know, you might find that this, this that the the range that you picked um, is yeah. uh, either too wide, too narrow, um, uh, not working for you for a variety of reasons. The spot price moved. Um, you know, you know, we go through a die recession and dies in, at 90 cents. Um, yep. Okay. So you, you want to, you, you, you go and, or you just want to, you know, uh, uh, use the money for something else, uh, yeah. deploy capital elsewhere. What the cool Andre's thing, on the phone. Andre's on the phone. He's like, Tarek, come over. <laughs> um, there's some interesting questions in the, that have shown up in the, uh, Oh, the we got questions. Chat. Oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, continue. Uh, I interrupted you. Also Let's retweeted do it. us. So, uh, yeah, we will be uh, uh, meeting some new people. Um, okay. So, th yeah, there is a there is a uh, 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 um, there is a there's a good question here. The um, okay. which is you look here and you see um, you look here and you see hey I can take liquidity out. Right. Of my position. Mm -hmm. It will also collect any of the fees that are outstanding whenever I take awesome. the video. You can also yep. remove, you can also take your fees without having to do anything. Oh, nice. Again, doesn't make any sense from a gas point of view at the size of the position, mm -hmm. but you know. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But you can, so you can remove your liquidity. You know, it's like take 10% out. But well, you're not going to do that, right? Because the gas price. I, mean, I can. We're just doing a demo. <laughs> For the purposes of this demo, we'll spend five hundred dollars to remove one zero zero one cents. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it works. So. We'll, you know, when this transaction yeah. confirms, this these yeah. fees collected will go away. The yeah, liquidity yeah. Uh, uh, will be uh, uh, reduced. But even if we go to zero, our position doesn't go away. Once you've oh. made an NFT, you can keep yeah. adding the liquidity, um, you know, for, till the end of time. Got it. Got it. Um, and so, like one of the questions, uh, uh, um, one of the questions that uh, being asked is what if someone else has the same NFT? Um, and absolutely, like uh, it, it, you will expect to see sort of uh, individuals with NFTs representing overlapping positions. There will be multiple NFTs. You know, there are many NFTs like this, but this one is yours. Um, right, kind of right. Model. That's awesome. So I yeah, can so add to the, to the position. Just got, uh, get, just got pulled. Just, okay, got it, okay. Great. So what happens? So right now I'm in the price range. I see the little green button under that beautiful uh, image with the rotating text. It's very cool. What happens when if, if the price moves away? Like, you know, how, what do I do? Like right now it's green. What if it's out of range? Um, so if it's out of range, you don't have to you don't have to do anything. There's no immediate response. Um, OK, uh, you'll come back, you know, a liquidity provider should periodically check in on their positions um, and yep. they should pay attention to this is your price in range question. 
Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And you know, they should also uh, you know look at a price chart and, and have a sense of whether or not the price has been in range um, in the past. Um, and so, if you think that if you don't think that there's this concentrated liquidity position is working for you anymore, then you need right. to create a new position. You need to create a new NFT. Um, and then you could Got move it. your liquidity, you could remove your liquidity from this position and add it to another. Got it. Got it. Um, could you show us what this pool is looking like? So I, I, I see my position. It'd be nice to look at some pool charts. You got anything you can show me about? Hey, yeah, Tarek, check out your pool oh, USDC die pool. It's, uh, there was a way of getting to it from here, but uh, I got a charts button right there. All right, let's go. All right, let's check out the pool. All right, let's look at how the liquidity is distributed. Yeah, Ooh, everybody's got amazing. a really tight, yeah, band right around it, right around one for one. So we're we're sitting in that blue, that big blue line there. That's where we're yeah. kind of at. We're a little okay, wider good. than that. Okay. okay, okay, got it. But basically, awesome. it seems like the market is predicting uh, die at a dollar right now. Got it, got it. And uh, I see your transaction history. So can we see that uh, we removed some liquidity? Look at what our address is. Mm -hmm. six, six. Right here. I think this is one. This is yeah. This one is one of ours. All right. Neat. So we were able to see our removes. There you go. Yeah. So I think this All was. Right. Uh, I'm gonna drop the screen share and go back to just our talking heads. Yeah. Any questions uh, coming from Twitter that we want to answer? Um, yeah, so uh, there's a question about impermanent loss. Um, so I think impermanent loss is probably going to come, you know, like one of the advantages of, uh, of talking about stablecoin pairs is that impermanent loss is not really uh, a thing in stable coins um, because you uh, there isn't a lot of uh, relative price volatility uh, and permanent loss sort of kicks in when you start talking about uh, uh, more volatile pairs. Um, and so we will be doing a future episode about more volatile pairs. And I think that would probably would be a great place to talk about impermanent loss uh, in Uniswap E3 with some examples. All right. Uh, are you ready to call it, a, call it an end? Tarek? Yeah, I think we have another one coming, right? So this was the first one we did uh, for the first tier because there are three price tiers. Uh, we did this at the 0.5% uh, price tier. We're going to go do uh, tomorrow, we're going to do an eight price tier at the 0.3%, right? Something that is not a stable coin and take a look yep. at the price action there on the Uniswap. And uh, that should be exciting. Same time and uh, look forward to it. Thanks to everyone who showed up. Uh, Student Swap V3, it is awesome. And you as a liquidity provider get more control where you place your liquidity, how much or how long, and you know, essentially concentrated liquidity, where which band you want to place it in. Super good stuff. Thank you, Saki. We'll see you guys. Bye.